Hi. Welcome to the Invisible Channel. We are here to support people living with invisible illnesses, by sharing everyday wellness and caregiving to each other through our videos. Today we are going to talk about showering. Most of people loves showering, taking a bath, enjoying time cleaning up ourselves after one long day activities with family and friends, or work and sports. But to many fibromyalgia patients, showering is a big no. It is not a simple, fun, and relieving to do anymore. For people with fibromyalgia, showering is exhausting, tiring, and it hurts so much. Let's watch the video, as we will talk about, why showering is so painful and dreadful, and what are things we can do, to overcome the nightmare. Watch till the end, cause we have some hot shower tips for you. Showering is a personal experience that takes place every day. We don't tend to ever think about, the psychological or health benefits of a shower, it's almost taken for granted, as part of a daily routine. Showering is meant to be a soothing and relaxing experience, that we could all agree, it puts us in a much better mood. But why with fibromyalgia, showering experiences becomes a painful and dreadful, Showering hurts because the sensation of the water hitting your skin can cause your nerves to overreact and send erroneous pain signals. It is like your skin experiencing pins and needles sensations. We tend to think of showers as pretty boring, and requiring little movement. But the truth is you generally stand there for a long time, and you're moving around a lot. This is a huge challenge for people with fibromyalgia. Standing for 10 minutes without resting on something is generally not a regular habit for them. Every after shower, people with fibromyalgia will experience tiredness and feeling worse. Water temperature is one of the cause. You will notice taking a really hot shower, makes you feel exhausted compared to one that is lukewarm. The reason is that people with fibromyalgia are very sensitive to temperatures. It's theorized that the autonomic nervous system, that works to keep body's temperature in range does not work correctly. Research shows people with fibromyalgia have an inability to adapt to changes in temperature, as well as a lower pain threshold to both hot and cold stimuli. Whether you tend to be sensitive to heat or cold, temperature fluctuations can cause your disease to flare and your pain to increase. As many as 70% of people with fibromyalgia experience dizziness. We often get dizzy by doing simple things, such as standing up. We feeling faint, weak, or unsteady. And when you're in the shower, you're bending up and down, and your body is trying hard to keep its balance. It makes the experiences of taking a shower become so unpleasant for people with fibromyalgia. If you have fibromyalgia, this is the thing you should worry about. When fibromyalgia is actually constantly makes you tired, and it is normal, good shower can make this tired feeling even more pronounced due to the way it makes people relax. This is especially when we are taking a shower first thing in the morning when we actually want to be woken up, not relaxed. So how to get around these problems? It seems so unfair, to have a basic needs that will causes you more pain or flare up than they already are. 
The main key is don't stress too much. Most obvious way to avoid shower is to take a bath. That's a better option, when you're talking about dizziness, or heightened nerve response. And if the hot water has a negative impact on you, you can always opt for cooler water or even milk. Don't force yourself to do things that makes you feel painful. There are other ways to make your showering moment painless and effortless. Do check out our next video for the tips. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy and learn something from the video. Keep supporting each other and see you again soon.